Starting a business costs money. No matter what type of business you're starting, it costs money. So um, once you make that initial investment, it's your job to get your return on investment. So don't think of it as you're spending money. Think about it as you're making an investment into your future. Hey friends, it's your girl Cash. If you are new here, my name is Cassie. My friends call me Cash and you can too. And welcome to Life in the Cash Lane where we focus on finance and fashion. Most importantly, finance, hustle and drive. Uh, I am a non-credential tax professional. I've been one for the last decade and I am here to put you on game. So if you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can be notified whenever I post new videos. Uh, I'm trying to post once a week. I'm doing my best. Uh, if you are an OG, welcome back and thank you for continuing to, continuing to support the channel. I love you for it and you're the reason I do it, okay? So today we're going to talk about the average costs involved in starting a virtual tax practice, okay? So if you're ready to learn, pull out your notebook, your wine, whatever it is you do when you watch uh, YouTube and let's dig right in. Almost lost me there for a second. Woo! <sighs> okay, so uh, as you know, if you don't know by now, I have been a tax professional for the last decade. Okay, when I got started, I was actually working in a tax store. Okay, I was managing a store, and at that time, brick and mortar locations was the way to go. And depending on where you are, I, I you know, I'm not. Um, knocking having a brick and mortar but i think with the world we live in now the microwave society the millennials that we're dealing with starting a virtual tax practice is the way to go okay you have low overhead and high profits which is what you want okay so i put together a list based on my research y'all do not come for me in the comments this is based on my research about the average cost of starting a tax business, okay? So, um, when I say average, that means I've combined the cost of several um, things and combined it to come up with an average. So this may not be the same for you. You may have inquired about a software that was cheaper. Uh, this is on average, okay? Uh, with that being said, I first want to start by telling you guys that the, the tax industry is just waiting on you, okay? 70% of all American people have to file their taxes. Most people that you know and hang with and kick it with and kiki with every single day is already patronizing a tax business. So why not you? Why not be you, sis? It's the time. You're not here for no reason. You are here for the right reasons. So here we are, mid-November. Before you know it, it will be Christmas. If you have not made the decision to get into the tax industry, I think you should start to finalize that decision here quickly, okay? Uh, sorry, guys. Our mentorship program is still open. Uh, we're still selling Be Your Own Boss software packages. We won't cut that off until January. But what I did, I put together what's called the Ultimate Tax Prepare Membership Program. If you just want to get your feet wet, um, and work with us under the same mentorship program as we give our bosses. Um, you will have to work under my brand, but we are offering a monthly mentorship available to you at $97 a month. 
okay? $97 a month, you're gonna get software, mentorship, you're gonna get a resource center for training videos. I am required to tell you guys that uh, our team has decided you have to commit to at least four months, okay? Because I feel like if you just are gonna come in and uh, subscribe for one month, you're not gonna get the full benefits of the program. Okay, so um, I am going to link in the bio uh, where you can register. Uh, I'm also going to link our courses that we just launched in our six figure tax prep school. Whether you have a business already or whether you are new to the business, um, you always need to be a student of the game. I don't know everything, but I have learned a lot in the last decade. OK, so um, go ahead and click those links to subscribe to our uh, well to subscribe to our website as well. So you can stay up to date on the on all the updates and the new things that we're putting out. And so you can register for our courses. And if the ultimate tax preparer membership sounds good to you, you can sign up for that as well. With that being said, guys, let's get started. I'm a little I'm a little my words today ain't coming out like I want them to. Okay, so virtual tax business and the cost of getting started. On average, y'all, I have done the research. On average, you can get started for as low as $2,000 or as much as $3,500. Now, this all depends on where you are in your life. OK, do you already have a computer? Do you already have a printer? Um, do you already have the basic necessities, Internet and all those things to get started? If not, it can be on the higher end of that uh, spectrum. So, again, between two thousand and thirty five hundred dollars to start a virtual tax practice. I get phone calls every day when I talk to people for some reason. They think it's supposed to cost like $10 to start a business, which and that I'm being sarcastic. But um, a lot of people, maybe if you have not ever had a business, you may not fully understand um, the cost of doing business and what it takes to start a business. And in my opinion, starting a business for less than $5,000, that's a lick especially a business that 70% of Americans have to do. So people that are already around you have to file their taxes. You already kind of have a niche market around you, okay? On average, tax preparation is between 300 and 350. On average, again, that's an average. It could be more, it could be less. Think about doing 100 clients. Boom, that's $30,000. Let's get crazy. Let's do 200 clients. That's 60K. Okay, on average, it could be more depending on your fees. So don't wait. I'm tired of telling y'all. Put your finger right there on your nose. Sign up today. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, but I just listed a few things that you will need and these things cost to get started uh, in the tax industry. I got to get a drink. I better use my straw this time. Because that ice cold ginger ale, ugh, almost choked your girl last time. Oh, I love me a good ginger ale. Okay, anyways, so, excuse me. Um, I would always like to start with drive and hustle, which is priceless. First of all, you have to make that decision priceless. OK, drive and hustle has to come next natural. I've had people that invested in my program and didn't do a thing with it. OK, which is a horrible waste of money and time and resources, quite frankly. OK, so. Determine that you want to do this. Determine that you're going to do whatever it takes to make it work. Because when I got the opportunity, I was working a dead-end job. I've told y'all my story. And I said, Lord, send me something and I promise you I'll make it work. So I did each and everything my mentor told me to do. Because how can I say it doesn't work if I'm not putting in all of my efforts? And gee golly, did it work. And it's still working to this day. OK, I have not had to clock in for anybody to this day for the last decade. I'm working on my 11th year in the business. All right. 
So drive and hustle priceless. I would suggest you also investing in a mentor. Okay. Mentors aren't cheap. Our program comes with a mentorship program, okay? But some people, some mentors charge by the hour. Some charge a flat rate. But I would say that can range from anywhere from $500 to $1,000 for someone to mentor you. In my opinion, priceless as well, okay? Because you want to start this business at least having a roadmap. Because if you're trying to figure everything out on your own, it may take you longer to get where you need to be. Um, a wise man once said, it's okay to copy. Just copy the right cat. All right. So coaching and mentor services, uh, about $1,000. All right. Drive and hustle, priceless. Period. Um, next, you're going to need to get your credentials to be a non-credential tax professional, which is your P10 and your Ethan. Okay, Peyton is $35.95 and in most cases in issued instantly. Okay, and that is your prepared tax identification number. Your EFIN, which is your electronic filing identification number, takes a little bit longer uh, to process. And to my understanding, they're behind. So if you ain't filed for it, go ahead and start to do that now. Um, and that's free. But you will have to pay for your fingerprinting uh, for the FBI to do their background check on you. And that's probably under $10, okay, depending on where you are. Again, we're working on averages, guys. Um, you all, you're going to need a tax course, okay? Would you want to go have surgery by a doctor that hadn't went to medical school? I don't think so. So you want to take a tax course that's going to really give you the basics, give you the general information you need to know to start a tax business. Because I promise you, the minute you get started and start advertising, people are going to have questions, scenarios. They're going to want to know what is CTC, why ain't they ain't got their payment. Like literally, there's so much to know. And I personally recommend our tax course. It's offered through our partners. Again, in my opinion, it's one of the best courses I take it every single year. I teach the course every single year. It's extensive and it can take about 10 weeks to finish, but it is worth it. Okay. So on average, your tax courses, um, I've seen them as low as 200 and as high as a thousand dollars. Okay. Ours is 397. And right now I've taken a hundred dollars off. If you're on our subscriber list, if you're not, Go ahead and use code 100 off. 100 off. Oh, yeah, I had to take a break. I got choked up for some reason. I don't know what's going on. But use code 100 off to save $100 on your comprehensive tax course. Okay? You can't beat that, sis. $297 to learn a lucrative need based skill. Are you listening? Come here. This is a recession proof industry. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. Okay. Ben Franklin once said the hardest thing to understand is the tax code. So you need to know what you're doing. Take a tax course. All right. I don't care who you take it with. Take a tax course. I get, I always get people saying, Oh, I took H and R block course. I took this course. I don't know what other people's courses do, honestly. I know what we provide, and I feel like it's the best in the business. I could be biased, but I feel that way, all right? Y'all rocking with me for a reason, all right? So if I say do something, come on, y'all. Let's get to the money. Um, So a tax course, super, super important. Our tax course even offers uh, videos, modules, and it's a certificate-based course. You get one year uh, to finish the course, but in order to get credit for the current year, it needs to be finished by December 31st, all right? So your tax course. Obviously, you're going to need professional tax software, okay? In most cases, 
on average. So unless, you know, software can be as low as $100, but you're paying per return you send in, which I don't suggest, because if you're going to do over 100 people like I suggest you do to get to the real money, that's going to cost you more in the long run. So don't get those softwares that say it's pay per return, unless you don't plan on doing more than five or six returns. But if, if that's the case, why are you here? Because we're trying to make six figures, okay? Um, anywho, at least five figures the first year, okay? <clears throat> so, so you're going to need software. On average, it can go anywhere from $100 for the pay per return all the way up to $2,000. I've seen it as high as $1,900, all right? Regardless of whatever software you get, make sure it's cloud-based and has virtual paperless capabilities. All right, because we're starting a virtual tax business. OK, so those that's important to know. You want to be able to have a document manager. You want to be able to have a scanning system. You want to be able to have elect where they can do electronic signatures through their cell phone. All these capabilities you want to be able to have built into the program. We got you, sis. Go to our website and take a look at what we offer. Or bro, you've got to be just a sis. Anyways, y'all. So after you purchase your software, you're gonna need a bank product. A bank product is what gives your clients the refund advance loans. They're, they allow you to be able to prepare your clients' tax returns up front and get the fees later when the return is paid on. If you don't know what a bank product is, go back and watch a future video. I won't spend much time on it. That is free. And if you watched my last video, you know that the bank product, they got a lot of offer. They can purchase your software. They can even offer you a pre-season and in-season loan. So take a look at that last video if you haven't already. Um, after you've gotten your tax course, your bank product, your software, you're going to want to get the necessities, which is your supplies. Obviously, you got to have a computer. I suggest a laptop. That way you can be mobile because, again, it is a virtual tax business. OK, um, kind of invest in your laptop. I know they have those like 100, 200 dollar laptops, but the slower your processing system, the slower uh, your software is going to be, which is going to make you less efficient. OK, and depending on who your software company is, it may make your software run slower. OK, so um, just make sure that your computer has a decent processing system. I would say spend anywhere from five hundred to a thousand dollars on a good laptop. OK, and it is Black Friday. I know they're putting a lot of that stuff on sale, so it may be the time to go ahead and purchase that computer. Uh, again, that can be anywhere from $500 to $1,000 on average. Remember, these are average costs. Uh, you're also going to need a good printer, which you can get for about $100 or less. I would suggest a laser printer because they print fast versus the older printers that... You know what I'm talking about. Because when you're printing a tax document, there's probably about 30 pages in there sometimes. So you're going to want something that can go fast, a laser printer. Now, like I spoke about before, we want a paperless virtual business, but you will get those clients that may want a printout of their tax returns. I got about five of them every year. I'd be like, ooh, wanna print out? But anyways, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, for the most part, I'm paperless. But back in the day, I used to spend thousands of dollars on my paper bill, paper, ink, all that type of stuff, okay? Um, so, after you get your computer, your printer, you're going to need Wi-Fi, a good, strong Wi-Fi connection, because that's what makes your software run. OK, after you've invested in your so your Wi-Fi, you're going to want to get the basic supplies, pens, folders, highlighters. You may need someone to make you some questionnaires. Uh, I have. Um, there's companies all over the internet that'll make you some organizers. If you're with Refund One, we provide all that in the client form library. So you ain't even got to worry about client forms, okay? Uh, and our software, to back up a little bit, is has all the virtual cloud-based capabilities that you will need. 
Software is a one-time cost for the year. Now you will have to renew every year because a new version comes out and you have to have the new version of the software. But once you purchase that tax year, you own it. And that's pretty much across the board. So for example, you purchase 2020 tax software, you own that, okay? Um, so your supplies, including like your paper, pens, folders, uh, stuff like that, I would say 500 or less, all right? And it could be lower depending on where you shop, all right? Um, the next two things are incorporating your business and marketing. There's a lot of marketing you can do for free. So you can go back and check out some of my marketing videos and kind of get wind of that. But I would say at least set aside two to 500 because you need business cards, bare minimum, a logo, a digital flyer, some of that stuff you can get on Fiverr or Upwork for as little as $10, $15, $20. You can go to Vistaprint and order a bunch of stuff, yard signs, flyers, all that type of stuff, sometimes for under $100. But on average, I'm just saying $500, two to $500. Um, and I would really, really focus on incorporating your business. You want to make sure that your LLC, um, that your corporation, incorporated, whatever it is that you feel uh, your business needs to be in terms of a legal entity. I'm no lawyer. I'm just, you know, an accountant. I'm just here as a, a a tax professional, but I'm no CPA, so I don't know exactly how to direct you, but I'm sure LLC will be fine to start. But go ahead and seek advice before you incorporate your, your business. I would suggest seeking legal counsel. Okay, guys. So to wrap things up, like I said, on the low end, 2000 on the high end, 3500 Starting a business costs money. No matter what type of business you're starting, it costs money. So um, once you make that initial investment, it's your job to get your return on investment. So don't think of it as you're spending money. Think about it as you're making an investment into your future. And as long as you do the work, get you a mentor that knows what they're talking about that's going to push you, that's going to be there for you, somebody that's going to going to set new highs for you um, and you're ready and you're motivated to do that, I don't see how you cannot make $2,000. If on average tax prep fees are 300, let's say the low end 300, what's that? 10 tax returns? You, can, you can't do 10 people? You don't got 10 cousins? Huh? Come on now. Make that investment in yourself. Okay? Uh, again, if you want to do business with me and my team, I have a uh, subscription service available if you just want to put your feet in the water and become a tax professional this year. Uh, starting at $97 a month, you even get to use the software. Okay, so. With that being said, guys, go to my website, check out everything we're offering in terms of our courses. And until next time, love you. And treat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. Okay.